Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday the 25th. I'm James Spann. Very dynamic system on the way. A huge temperature spread today. We'll have the chance of a cold rain for some folks and severe weather for other folks around the state. So let's get in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network. Early this morning, these were captured at the insane hour of 5 a.m., actually uh, 4.40 a.m. Now that's a look at downtown Clanton. Rain is falling already uh, down to the south of here. Uh, there's our Jasper Sky Cam where it's dry and cool. And down south, it is pouring rain at the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's the Gulf Shore Sky Cam. In fact, parts of Baldwin County under a flash flood warning as I do this update. Well, there you go. Big trough coming into West Texas. Pretty low latitude, and that's setting up a blizzard for parts of the Texas Panhandle in West Oklahoma. Check out temperatures here, and again, you can see the spread. You've got 39 at Huntsville, 53 at Tuscaloosa. And the cold air damming effect will be in full force today. And uh, we think areas north and east of Birmingham will stay in the 40s all day. Areas south and west of Birmingham could achieve low 60s later today. So that's why we're saying it's just going to be a big, big range. It depends on where you are in terms of how warm you get today. But it's going to be a cold, raw rain for northeast Alabama later today and tonight. Look at the blizzard warnings up. Again, the Texas Panhandle, the South Plains of Texas, West Oklahoma, Southern Kansas, parts of eastern New Mexico. Blizzard warnings. The counties in red. The counties in purple, those are winter storm warnings up through Kansas City, uh, just north of St. Louis. And then you've got uh, winter weather, or winter, winter weather, I'm sorry, winter storm watches up for places like Chicago and Detroit. But you can see the axis of really heavy snow is going to be running from near uh, Amarillo up to Chicago and Grand Rapids. And down here, flash flood watches in effect for the southern half of Alabama. Uh, Basically, uh, long and south of a line from Demopolis over to Lake Martin. And those watches extend up into Georgia as well for the potential of heavy rain. And looks like a a severe thunderstorm watch up for parts of southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi. So a very busy map. This is the convective outlook for uh, today and tonight. The standard slight risk, all of Louisiana, uh, about the southern half of Mississippi, the southern quarter of Alabama over into southwest Georgia and all the Florida panhandle. There is an enhancement that 30 percent chance includes New Orleans, Biloxi, Mobile, Gulf Shores, Pensacola, Fort Walton Beach. And that's really where the core risk will be later today and tonight. Uh, rain, yeah, a lot of that down south. Heaviest rain, the bullseye near Dothan, almost four inches there. And this is for the next five days. This goes through Saturday morning. And the amounts uh, are much lighter up here with rain amounts expected to be one inch or less. Uh, We'll check at the uh, radar early this morning. 458 and uh, just soaking rains are falling along and south of US 80. A little thunder action near uh, Aberdeen, Mississippi showing up there, uh, which is interesting. But this initial batch will kind of move on to the east and then a second batch comes in here and that wets down everybody later this afternoon and tonight, as you'll see. Uh, Let's look at modeling. This is the 06ZGFS, valid at noon today. Very deep upper low near Childress, Texas. Surface low is basically underneath that thing around Lake Texoma, and there's your blizzard. I mean howling winds in progress in West Oklahoma. Oklahoma City could be buried in snow, especially from the northern part of the city on north. And, of course, uh, we'll watch things down here in the warm sector for the rain. In fact, let's go to the RPM. This is 6 o'clock this evening. And uh, we've still got heavy storms in the Gulf Coast. But uh, this is really suggesting for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, the bulk of the day today will be dry. The rain begins probably, uh, you know, this evening at, shortly after 6 o'clock. Note the heavy snow falling out there still in uh, Oklahoma and Texas. All right, this is midnight tonight. All of Alabama's in rain. The really big storms way down south, extreme south Alabama in the Florida panhandle. And we'll have the dual threat of tornadoes. And flooding down there, Uh, severe weather and and flooding for South Alabama. So our friends down there will have to watch that tonight very carefully. Mobile all the way over to Panama City and Tallahassee. Then tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, it's pretty much over, maybe a bit of lingering light rain or drizzle. And I really think uh, the day tomorrow could be pretty cloudy. We might see some clearing late in the day. 
And for the snow lovers, uh, this is the snow through 72 hours with this thing. You can see the heavier uh, snows uh, just north and west of Oklahoma City, up into Wichita and Kansas City. And the bullseye is uh, up there in West Oklahoma, and that's what, almost uh, 30 inches showing up there. Wow. All right, this is tomorrow off the GFS. The surface low is near Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Uh, the snow continues north of that low. Down here, we're getting in a dry slot. And again, there might be some sun tomorrow afternoon, but I'm not so confident of that. But Wednesday uh, should be a pretty decent day. We think the wraparound clouds will be north of here on Wednesday. The sky around here should be partly to mostly sunny. And uh, temperatures will be trending a little cooler. The high will be down in the low to mid-50s. Thursday, pretty much the same deal, mid-50s. And then Friday, the cold air deepens. Uh, we'll have a hard time getting out of the 40s if this is right, more than likely, and maybe a few snow flurries just north of here. And look at Saturday starting off the weekend. It's a cold look as we start the month of March. Uh, uh, Western Ridge, Eastern Trough, and down below that, the air critical thickness line way down in the Gulf, strong north winds, maybe a few light scattered snow flurries. Uh, temperatures will be only in the low 40s. Low to mid-40s around here and up in the Tennessee Valley, they probably won't get out of the 30s. There's the European, very similar. It's suggesting a chance of snow flurries or snow showers underneath the cold upper trough. So Saturday, a very blustery, cold day. Uh, highs 40 to 45 with a chance of snow flurries or snow showers. And quite frankly, Sunday will be just as cold. Highs only in the 40s. Look at the critical thickness line all the way down there in the central gulf. Uh, but it looks like it will be a dry day with a sunny sky. Now, the sun will take some of the edge off. And then Monday, we start to warm up, Monday of next week. But look at this. A couple of days later, another shot of cold air blows in here. This is Wednesday of next week, March the 6th. Turns very cold. And then we warm up. And on the 9th, there's our next rain up event, uh, March 9th. Snow north of here. Probably no severe weather. And then on March 12th, uh, finally, we warm up with a storm over Texas, and that could bring a chance of severe weather. You know, March is the beginning of tornado season, but when it's cold, you don't have tornadoes around here for sure. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.